What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. This is a short video showing you how to hold your DAI, your DAI stablecoin on your Tracer hardware wallet. Now I've currently plugged in my Tracer device. It's unlocked and I'm currently connected on my screen. You can see the default assets that Tracer currently houses on their desktop suite. DAI is not one of them. So to store our DAI tokens, we're gonna need to actually add the contract address in the Ethereum section of our Tracer desktop suite. So what we can do is we can go on over to accounts and then we can go over to Ethereum and then we can go over to tokens. Now it's going to ask you to add the token. Now to do this, you're going to hit add token and you're going to need the contract address for DAI to be able to deposit your tokens onto your Tracer hardware wallet. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to minimize this and we're going to head on over to Etherscan and we're going to type in DAI and you're going to see here the DAI stablecoin. I'm just going to click on this. And then I'm going to copy the contract address and then I'm going to go back to Tracer desktop suite and paste this in. Once I do that, I can hit add token. And now that I've added the contract, you can see that DAI stablecoin is under our token section. So at this point now we can choose to receive some DAI and store it safely offline. So at this point we're going to do is go to receive. You can either go here or up top and then you're going to hit show full address. This is where it's going to show you your full Ethereum address that you can choose to deposit your DAI to. If you want to take the extra step, you can go to your Tracer device right now and confirm that the address matches, which you should always do for security purposes. So at this point, you can just hit confirm on your Tracer and then you can hit copy the address. My address matches, so I'm going to hit copy address, hit X, and now I'm going to head on over to the exchange and withdraw some DAI. All right, now we're back on Mandela Exchange and I have some DAI currently in my account. At this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna withdraw it to my Tracer hardware wallet so I can safely store it offline. That way I no longer have to keep my DAI tokens on an exchange, which is you know putting it at risk if there's anything to ever happen to that exchange that I'm currently housing it on. We've currently seen this recently with FTX and we've also seen it with restrictions and withdrawals on other exchanges. So it's always best to take full custody of all of your tokens and your coins and all of your crypto assets. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the Ethereum address that I copied from my Tracer device and I'm going to paste it in the recipient address here, which is where I want to send my DAI tokens. I'm going to choose the amount, which I'm going to hit max. And now I'm going to submit for withdrawal. All right, now I've submitted for my withdrawal request and now we can head back on over to our Tracer desktop suite and wait for our tokens to arrive. Okay, now we're back on desktop suite and you can see that my $46 of DAI stablecoin have arrived in my Ethereum wallet. Now, if I want, I can just unplug my Tracer device and I can safely store it away and my DAI stablecoin is safely stored offline. This withdrawal process of taking your funds off the exchange and safely storing them in your hardware wallet is known as taking custody of your own assets, which is what I always recommend people should do. When you leave it on a centralized exchange or a custodian, now you're basically putting the trust in that custodian to make sure that they can safely store your assets you know, and obviously we've seen in multiple occasions now with FTEX and other exchanges that have been hacked or have completely gone bankrupt, that it's always safer for you to have your funds in your control versus leaving them on an exchange. Now, while I've been talking, you've seen some Ethereum has also shown up to use as gas to send some transactions from this wallet, because now I want to reverse this process. I want to send my DAI stable coin back to an exchange. This could be for multiple reasons. If you want to purchase more uh, assets, or if you just want to move tokens to another wallet, this is the process that you would do uh, to make that happen. So all I need now is a deposit address to send my DAI stablecoin back to. Now, in this case, I'm going to send it back to the exchange, which is where I just withdrew it from. So I'm just going to go back to the Medell exchange here and I'm going to copy my address. This will be the address that I'm depositing my stablecoin to my DAI and hit copy address. I'm going to go back to Tracer desktop suite and I'm going to hit send and I'm going to paste this address in here now. And then once I do this, this is an address here. If for some reason it says it's not valid, all you need to do is hit convert to check some address. It'll change some of the, uh, the lettering to capitals to make sure that this address is valid. And then you can choose to switch from Ethereum to DAI, which is the token that I want to send. I would hit send max and you can choose to set the gas fees the way you'd like. I uh, usually, I leave it at normal most times if the network is being, you know, uh, let's say that there's a lot of price movement in Ethereum or the markets are being extremely volatile. Uh, sometimes I like to go to custom and just up this a little bit. Uh, that way I know my transaction will process within one minute. So right now we've pasted in our address that we want to deposit our die back to the amount 
And then I'm gonna hit review and send. And now it's gonna ask you to follow the instructions on your treasure screen, which is confirming the address that you wanna send your tokens to, and then confirming the transaction. So now it's showing the address that I'm gonna be depositing my DAI tokens to. It's showing me the fee, and then I can hit confirm on my tracer, and then I can hit hold to confirm. And then once I do this, it's going to send the transaction after I click send, of course. And there you have it. I've sent my DAI tokens from my Tracer hardware wallet, which was safely stored offline, back to a centralized exchange, which is now online uh, to do whatever I want with. If I want to sell it, if I want to buy their assets, I can do that. And that's it for this short tutorial. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks and take care.